the 7900 XT is going to absolutely destroy the 3090, the 3080 Ti gets its price leaked, and Zen 4 gets a release date leaked. There's so much tech news. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So not too long ago we talked about how AMD's next generation flagship GPU, the 7900 XT, could be over two times faster than their current flagship 6900 XT, and that's definitely mighty impressive as the 6900 XT is already an extremely fast card and pretty much trades blows with the uh, RTX 3090 and it'll either win or lose depending on what resolution you play at, so uh, getting something that's over two times faster than that is absolutely incredible, but according to a new leak from Red Gaming Tech, the 7900 XT could actually be over 2.5 times faster than the 6900 XT, which means that not only would it crush the 6900 XT, but it would also absolutely destroy the RTX 3090. And, you know, apparently, according to some rumors, the uh, next generation ray tracing cores on the 7900 XT should also be much, much faster. So, yeah, in basically every single way, the 7900 XT should at the very least match the RTX 3090, and especially in rasterized gaming performance. I'm definitely expecting the 7900 XT to just absolutely crush it as, uh, according to the leaks from Red Gaming Tech, we're going to be looking at a multi-chip design here, which could be actually having up to 160 CUs, which would be actually over 10,000 stream processors, which is double the amount we can currently find on the 6900 XT. Now, of course, with the multi-chip design, I'm not entirely sure how well it's going to scale in gaming as, you know, as much cash as they put into this thing, they're kind of seeming to be using like a type of infinity factor fabric that they're going to be using on the Ryzen processors uh, to make this chiplet design work. Well, I'm assuming there's probably going to be a little bit of latency there. So uh, while I actually wouldn't be too surprised to see this thing actually do over 2.5 times the amount of performance in some raw math calculations, when it comes to actual gaming, I wouldn't be too surprised if we were probably looking at, you know, a little closer to two times the amount of performance or maybe even a little bit less because, uh, again, I do believe there is going to be some inherent latency when you have to go across uh, one GPU died to the next. And I'm assuming that there's going to be a little bit of extra difficulty when coding for these GPUs, although um, from what I've heard, it's supposed to kind of operate and be recognized as a single GPU, so it shouldn't be, you know, as difficult as coding for like SLI or Crossfire. However, I do expect it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get both these GPUs to scale perfectly, at least when you compare it to a traditional monolithic GPU design, but either way, uh, getting over 2.5 times the amount of performance in any operation is definitely really impressive, and you know, by the time this thing actually releases, which it sounds like it's going to be releasing in mid-2022, you'll probably actually be able to buy one. So yeah, the 7900 XT and just the whole 7000 series is looking to be really, really impressive. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the leaked price for the RTX 3080 Ti. Now, this story does come from a Reddit user who goes by the name of Fasil Khatib, uh, and apparently, according to him, there was a Middle Eastern retailer which listed a Supram X RTX 3080 Ti, which I will be showing you some photos here, for a ridiculous price of, get ready for it, 3,500 US dollars. That's right, 3,500 US dollars. So, if you're expecting the 3080 Ti to be cheap, well, it sounds like that's not going to be the case. Uh, now, that being said, this is a Middle Eastern retailer, and this is before the actual launch, so this is probably a lot higher than it's going to be in the U.S., and I am expecting the MSRP of the 3080 Ti to come in at a thousand U.S. dollars, but do keep in mind, you're, there's just no way you're going to be able to get an AIB 3080 Ti for one thousand U.S. dollars. That's definitely not going to be the case. Um, if NVIDIA releases a Founders Edition, which hopefully they do, however, I haven't really been hearing anything on that, so I'm getting a little bit nervous, but if they release a Founders Edition, that will be your only chance to get it at a thousand US dollars because trust me, if you're trying to get an AIB for a thousand US dollars or even eleven hundred US dollars, your chances of getting one of those is basically zero. I mean, I'm telling you guys right now, there's basically zero chance whatsoever that there will be even one single 3080 Ti that's sold for a thousand US dollars unless the whole supply and demand issue gets fixed basically in the next month here. I mean, by the time that the supply and demand issue gets 100% fixed to the point where GPU prices go all the way back to the MSRP that they're supposed to be, uh, that could take a long time because, you know, although supply and demand is likely going to continue to get better over the coming months, for the prices to go back to MSRP, uh, we also have to take into account the fact that there are actually tariffs that have been put into place as well as inflation that's happening. So for that to happen, there would have to be a lot of competition coming from AMD as well as the supply and demand issues going away. So if you're expecting to get an AIB card for a good price, I just got to warn you guys right now, as good as the 3080 Ti is, unfortunately, 
unfortunately, the price is not going to be very good for those AIB models. I'm expecting probably somewhere between a minimum of 1200 US dollars for the AIB cards, probably ranging upwards of 1500 or maybe even 1800 US dollars for the absolute premium models. So just get ready for that. It's just going to be very, very expensive for those AIB models. So hopefully Nvidia does end up releasing the 3080 Ti Founders Edition because gamers definitely need a chance to try and buy a card for at least a thousand US dollars. I know enthusiasts are, you know, a little bit more willing to spend money on that top tier performance, but over a thousand US dollars for a GPU is a mighty high asking price, even for the flagship top tier GPU. And then finally, let's talk about that Zen 4 release date. And this story comes from a Twitter leaker who goes by the name of Vegeta. And according to him, this is what he had to say on Twitter, quote, Zen 4 Raphael announced 2022 9 through 10, launch 2022 10 through 11. All I know is about this time. So looking at that, what I would guess is that AMD is probably going to be announcing these processors around September and then actually releasing them around November. That makes the most sense to me. And this is probably going to be the Ryzen 7000 series process. Processors. I know there was just a rumor going around that potentially the Ryzen 6000 Zen 3 Plus processors may have actually been canceled. However, I don't believe that's the case, uh, especially if this is actually true and there aren't going to be any Zen 4 processors until 2022, late 2022. In fact, uh, there's definitely going to have to be some sort of stopgap CPU between the Zen 3 and Zen 4 processors because otherwise Intel's going to be releasing a lot of processors very, very quickly and they may actually be able to take the lead over AMD in gaming performance and potentially maybe even multiple multitasking performance, at least depending on which SKU you look at. And so AMD's definitely gonna have to release something. So I would expect to see those Zen 3 Plus processors at least sometime by the end of this year or early next year. And then of course, we will be seeing the much bigger performance leap coming out of Zen 4 by the end of 2022. And those Zen 4 processors guys are looking really, really good. But hey, that's just what I think. How fast do you think the 7900 XT is gonna be? Do you think it's actually gonna be over 2.5 times faster? Or do you think that in gaming, maybe it'll be like 50% faster? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and of course i'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like every time you do so amd and nvidia get more stock also if you want to see more click here you won't be disappointed